I, I feel like I never got in trouble for doing anything bad. I, I did get in trouble for doing absolutely nothing a lot, though. Like, I remember there was this, because I went to a quite a small school, there were a lot of rooms that were shared, like you'd do multiple lessons in there. And I think it was like graphic design or something. And, it, and the room had a closet, and the teacher was very clear. He was like, never go in this closet. This is for teachers only. It should remain locked at all times. If I ever see one of you in there, it's going to be big trouble. I, I, maybe they had chemicals in there or something for something else. And then in a different class, in the same room, a, a different teacher told me to get something out of there. And I remember thinking like, <laughs> I'm not supposed to go there. And he was like, yeah, just take the key. Get this. Here's where it is. And I was just like, I don't have right. the security clearance to do this. <laughs> in, in the back of that closet was a window. And I was in there, like, finding this thing. The teacher who screamed oh, at us all no. not to ever be in there walked past and then, oh, like, popped God. back. And I was just like, and I just saw him. <laughs> he just came running. And then he came storming into the room. He was like, get out of this room and i was like I was, I was like freaking out it was like me and him in the closet he was just screaming and spitting in my face and i just remember thinking that is just really unfortunate timing i've been put <laughs> into this position by someone else i'm getting <laughs> bollocked the only reason i didn't get detention is because the other teacher was like no i told him to. yeah and, but your and then greatest his, fear his response his response to that was oh okay oh no, my no, god did he apologize to you screaming in my no it was a right bastard <laughs> why was he trying to keep you out of there I don't know what he was stashing in there. I don't know what he had. Maybe some, maybe a Probably secret drug cook or something. Illegal things on his yeah. computer. Yeah. In in chat, Fofo Fofo says that was his drug closet. Yeah, mm -hmm. doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I mean, we had surprise me. <laughs> yeah, we had a a closet like that in my chemistry lab, where it's like you weren't supposed to go in there. There were. Tons, like, so that's where all the chemicals were, right? Like all the things you do experiments with and you know, it was like acid and um, like all kinds of real things that could really hurt you. Then for some reason, the last day of school, our teacher was like, yeah, you can go in there, look around if you want. <laughs> like, we weren't allowed in all year. <laughs> then the last day it was like, oh, okay. Then we, we like, everyone went in. It's like, yeah, this is really dangerous. None of us should be in here. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't they do that in the first place as a learning experience to be like, yeah, see, like, this is dangerous. You don't want to be in here. Okay. It's yeah. just crazy how differently you, I guess, like like a situation like that back then i was shitting my pants and i probably spent the rest of the day reliving that that guy screaming in my face <laughs> just because like that was you don't really know a lot you don't you don't have the wisdom now i'd be like shut up you old bastard I really <laughs> told yeah, i'm to sure that would have resulted here. in a yeah. really great experience <laughs> yeah. for you <laughs> yeah instead i probably nearly cried and just went quietly sat down afterwards slunk away <laughs> Did you guys ever like do really stupid shit in high school just to make your friends laugh? Like, was that something oh, that yeah. you were known for? 